Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to episode 19 of my 2022 reboot for Fallout Shelter. Okay, we've got 130 caps. We've got a new dweller from our radio station. And the mysterious stranger is somewhere. Are we going to be able to find him is the question. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where is he? And I don't think we're going to find him. That little pinging noise of him disappearing is going to come shortly. Yeah, okay, let's collect our skills. So we've got a load of people with their endurance leveled up. And we've got someone here that needs leveling up and their endurance is one. Okay, well, we're going to have to add the wasteland gear. Uh, that gives them endurance four and level them up anyway. That's level two, so not terrible. Perception two, agility three with the raider armor. Let's get that put back on. Okay, over the course of today's video, we will be expanding the shelter. We will also be going on a quest and we'll be doing other bits and pieces as we go through the episode. So thank you to all of you who are following along with this series. And of course, my new uh, 25th anniversary uh, Fallout Shelter for mobile series as well. So if you haven't checked that out, uh, do go ahead and check it out after this episode. I will link episode one of that new series at the end of this video. So do watch to the end and check it out. Or if you're quite comfortable with the content, skip to the end and check out that episode. Okay, so we've got our new dweller. We will put her straight in for endurance training. There we go. Uh, let's give her a weapon. Uh, let's see what have we got. Uh, so that's scoped 4-4 is probably one of the better options. And we don't really have a huge amount of other outfits to uh, put on. Um, mm, could go with the Merc gear. There we go just to give a little boost to those special stats. Now, our food situation at the moment, oh great, we've got a raider attack, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll get a couple of people dropped up into the room up there, so he's got a shotgun, that's a good weapon to use, and a hunting rifle, another good one. Nope, we just clicked on the same person. Okay, this is gonna be interesting, uh, but they should be dead by the time they get to that first radio room, because we have three raiders here just the three there we go second person's arrived to start shooting very good should start dealing with those dweller those raiders <laughs> i was gonna say right um i was gonna say dwellers then okay right come on get them killed come on kill there we go one's fallen already let's uh, zoom in a bit we can see uh, that they've taken a bit of a hit to the health our dwellers uh, the second one oh no no two of them are making it through to the next room Okay, we'll put our guys back into the room that they came from, and let's go and check it out our radio studios, where of course we've got much better weaponry. Okay, so I think, yep, that's a second raider is down, and the third raider, fingers crossed, will be down momentarily, because of course we've now got two people shooting at one person. No, nope, he's made it through to the other room by the looks of it. Oh, we've got a mayor's outfit, charisma two, intelligence two, luck one. Yep, and the third one's down as well before he left the room. Lovely stuff. Okay. Now, later on in the end game, what you'll find is you'll have two dwellers permanently assigned to the vault door, who are uber dwellers. Uh, most people forget that you can have two dwellers stationed in your vault door room uh, as guards, so posted as guards. So once you've got a couple of max uh, uber dwellers, you can put them in there with great weapons and they will deal with the majority of uh, incursions that come through your door. Now, of course, that doesn't deal with rad roaches, mole rats or rad scorpions. Rad scorpions being the worst uh, out of everything. And as the series progresses, we will see those rad scorpions attacking. Uh, we've got one minute. Let's uh, rush this and see if we can get a boost to our food production. Yes, very good. Okay. I think something else we may have to do is also upgrade that diner. But uh, let's go on our quest. So bottle cap blues. And let's proceed through the quest. Because we do want to get bottle and cappy at some point. Because I've already stated we get lovely Nuka Quantum Colas and bonus caps every time bottle and cappy arrive at our vault. Co couple of mole rats let's get these guys dealt with come on get them killed get them get there we go any bodies any corpses yes we've got a corpse let's check that first oh blueprint rare blueprint two stim packs lovely okay on to the next room we go anything in here it looks actually like a whole lot of nothing not even any shiny okay well the building's a bit of an odd shape 
so we will progress up to progress down, whereas, uh, as I say, normally if there's more up than down, uh, you go up. If there's more down than up, um, sorry, less down than up, you go down, and if there's more down, you go up. And just clear out the building that way. It, most of the time it makes sense. Okay, let's get these uh, killed. Any corpses? Yep. Oh, nice hunting rifle. Lovely. And another blueprint. Another rare blueprint, in fact. Okay, let's get everyone into the lift and up to the next floor to carry on purging this building. Just like you're doing Fallout 4 when you're clearing out a structure. Okay, more mole rats. And in fact, we've got a uh, boss mole rat. So let's get people to focus on it. So click on your dweller, then click on the mole rat and you'll see it flash red. And that's when you know that the targeting acquisition has been changed. And they're all now focusing fire on this boss mole rat. There we go, got it killed. Didn't even have a chance to bring more mole rats into the room, which is what you're looking to achieve. No corpses either, disappointing. And our first caps of the quest. Wow, so some raider armor there. Uh, let's go to the elevator and head up to the next floor, which I think is the top of the building. Uh, we, oh, no, no, we actually have another floor to go. I was mistaken. Okay, more shiny and more mole rats. So a bit of a mole rat infested level this one. No raiders as such. Uh, I do prefer the raider, le raider levels because, of course, you get more caps. Oh, yes, it's all about them caps. Okay, right. Three mole rats dead. Any corpses? No. Let's double click that shiny. Okay, so we've got a few more caps and a baseball glove. Okay, so let's we'll clear down this floor and what we'll do is we'll drop down into the little pocket, we'll clear that out and then we'll head back up to the top floor. Okay, come on mole rats, just die already. There we go. Okay, any corpses? No, shocking lack of corpses on this quest. Okay, so we're going to go down into this, as I said, weird random pocket uh, in the building, and we'll get all these rooms cleared. More mole rats. Oh no, rad roaches. Oh, and in fact, a glowing rad roach. Now, not particularly tough. We'll get them killed in a couple of rounds, but of course that does mean we're going to need to use radaways, because even if you can't see it, there is a little bit of radiation damage there from that glowing rad roach and one of our guys can be leveled up, which is always good. Let's head into the next room. Oh, it's a double. Okay, what's in here? And it's more mole rats. Kill surprise. Okay. Come on, get them murdered. Get the mole rats murdered. Okay, see that radiation? That tiny little minuscule line there of red radiation damage. We're gonna need to get that all cleared off uh, before we finish up. So some duct tape into the next room. Anything in here? Of course there is. It's more mole rats. Why indeed not? This level shouldn't have been called uh, Bottle Cap Blues. It should have been called Mole Rat Infestation Extraordinaire. Right, okay, that's a BB gun. That's a complete waste of collection, but hey, it is what it is. Let's get that person leveled up. There we go. And we need to head up to the top floor, the last floor that we haven't explored, and also, clearly, where this objective is going to be cleared off. Because as of yet, we have not achieved this quest's objectives. So into the big room we head, and still no quest objective. So, and we've got another boss uh, mole rat as well. Let's use our crits. Here we go. Only two times damage, but that was still enough to get it finished off, so that's fine. Let's not waste it on these guys. There we go. We can uh, fresh kill this one. So, there we go. Five times damage. Badoom! Nice. Get this one done as well. Three times damage. Very good. Lots of death. And a nice fat corpse to harvest. And it's got a rare microscope. Good stuff. And some duct tape and some more Merc gear. Uh, let's get this person uh, healthed up. There we go. We will need to use, as I said, Radaways, but we can wait until the end of the quest. Okay, thanks. I thought those rats were going to eat me. Yep, I wouldn't have minded if they had. I'm joking, of course. Better than being stuck with those raiders from Nuka World. I snuck away from them just before they left. Did they have Bottle and Cappy? Yeah, they took Bottle and Cappy over to Vault 177. Be careful. Well, there's our next destination. 
Oh, and we got a nice little laser pistol. Always a good one. Base 7 damage, depending on its quality of repair. Okay, of course it's more mole rats. Why not? Let's get them killed. And harvest this last room for its lovely loot. And hopefully an additional corpse. Is there an additional corpse? No, there isn't. Just some caps. Only 600 caps. That's disappointing. Right, let's get those uh, radaways used. There we go. I think we'll give a stim pack there as well. Uh, the other two are fine. Maybe we'll stim pack this one. That takes us back down to 12. And end the quest and head back to the vault. So we've got a couple of recipes and they are on their way home. So now that we're back into the shelter, let's get our resources collected. Now we're running out of storage space. That's fine. We'll have a look in a little bit. And can we find him? Where is the dang mysterious stranger? Nope, he's gone. Okay, fair enough. Let's get this person in wasteland gear and get them upgraded. Again, this person over here. Uh, so let's again swap them into wasteland gear, level them up, and swap them back into that radiation suit. There we go. You want as much health as possible as you're leveling up your dwellers. And then towards uh, end game, you can start booting people out and training up uber dwellers. It's entirely up to you how you play once you get towards the end game. Okay, this needs leveling up because we haven't leveled it up yet. It adds six production. It does make incidents uh, more heavy handed in the room, uh, as well as the overall level of our dwellers. Uh, but it's fine. We do need the food. As you can see now by our food resource production, uh, we do have a lot of spare capacity. We've got over four hours for these guys until they're going to level up their endurance any further. That's fine. We don't mind. We're going to log out. You're going to go to sleep. When you wake up in the morning, everyone will be ready to be upgraded. That's one of the... Hey, 584. Boom. Nice. 7,730 caps. Okay, well, I think that's given us the resources to be able to expand our shelter. Now, the question is, what do we want? We want the outfit workshop, because we haven't built it yet. So we'll put that alongside our weapons workshop. So we have a weapons workshop and an outfit workshop next to each other. And then, of course, we can expand further down as we progress. Now, this chap is Endurance 1. Oh, that's shameful. It is what it is. There's not much we can do about it. Let's level him up put back on his battle armor and leave him as it is okay so here we have our outfit workshop okay let's collect the water and uh, what we do need is someone to go in there so let's have a look maybe at the dwellers that we've got and uh, where's your endurance at nope not particularly good yeah, about halfway maybe we could keep looking at the others now we'll take him right drag him for now we only need one dweller in there to be able to create an outfit and this just lets you see the process and what is available within the outfit workshop. Now bear in mind you're not able to upgrade it until you have enough dwellers which I think is 50 odd uh, to start crafting rare recipes. So craft, we've got our boss uniform here, let's unlock it. It's perception 2, charisma 1, so brotherhood of steel and we've got all these different things so handyman initiate robe junior officer lab coat leather armor mechanic jumpsuit da, 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 da. and all you have to do is decide which outfit that you want to create now of course this is where your junk is important because you can see the junk items that are needed to craft the individual outfits now at the moment the best wasteland gear we can do is e3 so plus three endurance can't do much better than that. Right, let's collect our additional resources and put the chap into our weapons workshop and get these people leveled up. So many different tasks that need to be maintained. Okay, let's get them leveled up. There we go. Oh, that was good timing. 788 caps. Nice. Almost covered the cost of the room. It's funny that, isn't it? The mysterious stranger turns up and lets you pay off the room that you've just purchased by giving you more caps, basically. Okay, right. Now, let's again have a look across at what we've got skill-wise. So these people are midway up in their endurance. Let's get this person added to um, the power room. There we go. And then what we can do is put this person into a vault suit, put this person into the endurance room, because we want to try and get everyone at least up to, say, three or four endurance, ideally, and then start getting some people towards max endurance. Uh, so that they get the best possible health benefit. 
Now, as long as they're kind of sub-level 10, uh, it's, it's not the end of the world uh, as you train them up. Um, but as I said, what you can always do is boot dwellers out of your vault uh, to get new dwellers so that you can get them to the max possible if that's the route that you want to take. It's entirely up to you. I will say that you can complete this and get 200 dwellers and not have everyone uber upgraded. It's entirely up to you. Uh, right, okay, that's typical. We did have someone there. Let's get the person to run across. Hopefully we'll activate the mole rats so that they don't spread. Yep, I think he's got there in time. So what we need to do now is get some extra people into that room. So let's just drag up some extras. Doesn't really matter where from, just local rooms and get them all in there to deal with the mole rat attack because there's quite a lot of mole rats in there. But with all the extra people in there with decent weapons, it should be fairly easy and quick to deal with. And no one's going to die, so we can have a wander around and look at other stuff as well. Just dump another person in there. I think we may have maxed out the room, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's put the uh, combat armor or something on this one. Military fatigues, officer uniform. There we go, strength plus five. And this person can have the military fatigue, strength plus three. There we go, we'll get these people. That person needs to go back into something, so combat armor. There we go, the mole rats have been dealt with. And I think for this episode, I think that is about enough. But let's craft something uh, before we end. So what do we want to craft? One of the higher end weapons is the enhanced sawn off shotgun, which is six to eight damage. And then down towards the bottom, you have the laser pistol, which does set seven. So now with six to eight, the average is seven. So you're actually better off just doing the laser pistol, which is seven. Uh, so let's do a rusty laser pistol for seven damage and get that underway. It's going to take two and a half hours and you need agility to uh, get that done. So the higher the agility in the room, the better it is. So let's quickly uh, swap him out. Uh, let's take off a uniform from someone. So this person will do. So put them back into a vault suit and then get the other person put into the handyman jumpsuit. And there we go time dropped but until next time i'm know-it-all gaming don't forget to like comment and subscribe